Hi, welcome to another video. There are multiple new rumors about GPT-5, Gemini 3, and even Claude 4.1, and I wanted to talk about them. Let's start with GPT-5. So, Windsurf has just added three new models to their AI code editor, and I thought I'd talk about this as well. They have added three new models, which are Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Now, some people are saying that these models are GPT-5, or at least by OpenAI. And it kind of makes sense, because the Windsurf team has had contacts with OpenAI. They had given Windsurf access to their GPT-4.1 models for free for people to evaluate. And it seems that these new models might be from them. So, it is being said that Charmander is the best one, followed by Bulbasaur and then Squirtle. It is being said that the Charmander model has a reasoning effort of 64, while Squirtle has a reasoning effort of about 16, and Bulbasaur seems to be non-reasoning. Now, it is most probable that this is the OSS model, which is the same as Horizon Beta, where the Bulbasaur model is Horizon Alpha, which came first without reasoning, while Squirtle might have a bit of reasoning and Charmander might be the model that comes with the highest reasoning budget. It seems here that it has about a 64k token budget. I don't think that this would be their GPT-5 model, because they probably wouldn't give that model out, since they want to build hype and set the stage for the open source model in the developer landscape. They are giving it out in open router, and now Windsurf as well because that's the company they have the best contacts with. Anyway, let me show you how you can use it as well. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research. But what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. now. Back to the video. These models are not available in the official build of Windsurf. Rather, they are available only on the Windsurf Next build. So, you'll need to download and install that version. If you already have it, you can also upgrade to the latest version, which has these models as well. Just get that done and then open it up. This is what it looks like. Here, you can select between all three models and use them. You can use them accordingly, and do stuff with them as well. I have tried it, and Charmander seems cool for sure. So, you can check that out as well. So, there are some new updates about Claude Opus 4.1 as well. Recently, some internal config files have mentioned a model called Claude Leopard V202 Prod, and also referenced Claude Opus 4.1. This suggests that Anthropic is now internally testing what could be the next version of their top-end model. From what I've seen, these internal references describe Claude Opus 4.1 as the latest model for more problem-solving power. That probably means they're focusing on improving the reasoning and planning capabilities, which is something Anthropic has been working on for a while. In the past, when these sorts of internal mentions showed up, a new Claude release usually followed within a week, but there's no guarantee that will be the case this time. Right now, Anthropic's internal safety system, called Neptune V4, is undergoing red teaming. That's basically a process where they try to find issues before releasing the model to the public. Usually, this happens a week or two before launch so it might still take a little while before Claude 4.1 becomes available. When it does release, 
it will likely show up on Anthropic's Claude web app and API, especially for Opus tier users, since that's where they always put their most capable models. If the improvements in problem solving are significant, it could be pretty useful for people who rely on Claude for research, automation, or development workflows. Also, this update could be Anthropic's answer to the upcoming GPT-5 release, which is expected soon. Even though 4.1 sounds like a minor version bump, it's worth noting that previous upgrades from Anthropic have brought substantial gains. So, it's possible we'll see meaningful improvements here as well. Now, there are also some new models from Google that are coming this week, because a lot of people from the Gemini team have said that some models are coming soon. Now, many people are saying that this might be the Kingfall model that has not been released yet. But this might also be a new version of the Gemma models, which could be true or not. Some people are saying that this might be the Gemini 3 model as well, and it is possible, but not as likely because 2.5 Pro has only recently become stable, and replacing it super early wouldn't be as good for sure. So, I think that it might be a new Gemma model, since many Gemma team members have been talking about it as well. This also makes sense, because OpenAI is launching their open source model, and probably Google will try to top their model in front of OpenAI's model, as they generally do. But we'll see about that as well. They had recently launched their DeepThink model on the Google Ultra plans, and it is a pretty cool model as well. We'll see that when it becomes available on the general plans, because that would be a cool model to see on general plans as well as API. So that is about it. These are the new things that are happening and have come around, and you'll see some good models this week from all around. So you can check that out when it comes around as well. I am pretty excited for the open model that is soon to be released from OpenAI, as well as to see if Gemini comes around as well. The open source model landscape has been shaking for a while now, after the companies from China are launching super big models. But let's see that how these models come out to be from the American companies as well. So, that is majorly about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!